welcome to another week of recap with Battle Box. I'm your host, Elizabeth, aka Liz Manning. Let's get to hot topics. Late Osuna Cheese is resting right now, but her court case with her husband is still pending. This new development that came in, basically, we do know that there was um, accusations towards the husband that during their marriage, while she was alive, the husband was physically, mentally abusing her, and he's saying no, that never happened. Anyway, there are two employees that are claiming that they are witnesses uh, to these crimes of when the husband was actually maltreating her and abusing her, physically abusing her while she was alive. Um, and the court is actually looking into that right now. And also her sister is the one going around and continuing a, a legacy by singing and traveling and everything is you know going good for her. And we hope that this case will come to an end soon so we can actually get to know what really happened to her and may, may she continue to rest in peace. Let's give three seconds of silence for Big Brother Nigeria former housemate Rico that passed away. All right, a whole lot of things happened over the past week, but the one that really caught us by surprise was Rico, who was a former BB Nigeria housemate. The first thing we saw was online. He was rushed to the hospital. They asked us to pray for him. And the next thing was they asked us that he was gonna need funds. And then the next thing was he was dead. What happened? The next thing again was a video came out basically showing the lifeless body of Rico while he was unconscious. They will run a scan on him. I am not going to come out and enter. What is this now? Hey, show me what you think. You know they We could see the nurse basically asking whoever was recording to stop recording. He sent everyone to rage um, out, out there in the world and people were questioning in the integrity of the hospital and also the employees. The hospital came out and the employees came out and they said no, ne nothing like that of such happened that they were not the one that was recording. People were saying that there was a delay in treatment and they could have saved his life. The government is actually looking into it and we hope that they come to a resolution soon. Rest in peace, Rico. Part of appeal discharges revolution leader Inamdi Kano. Backstory, he's been in and out of prison and you know we've heard about his health not getting proper treatment and you know he was his health was declining and now those speculations are basically out of the door because he's out right now and ready to be with his family but people are not really com comfortable with with this whole releasing of kano because people are saying that are you sure that kano was not released as a political move against Peter Ob, it's, it seems a little bit fishy to me because I'm trying to like, okay, all of a sudden you guys, somebody that you kept in there for a long time, a lot of a sudden you guys just left him and acquitted and discharged just like that. Well, they say shit where they smell. Very soon we will know where the source of that shit, where they smell, they come from. Let's wait and see. Davido and Chioma, they are hot cake right now. They are everywhere. Uh, we since the video of Davido coming out where he said 23 assurance, a lot of things have been going on. Recently, he actually bought her a brand new G wagon to spice things up. A lot of people were saying, ah ah, oh, I want this kind of man. You know, he's really uh, reassuring her. And um, we see them holding hands together, going out at night together. We love to see it. We love to see this reassurance. All of this don't matter until you marry this girl. I keep saying it, Davido. You have to marry this girl. If you keep reassuring her, which we love, the next thing I want to see is proposal right now. I want you to propose to her. And we know that, okay, at least proposal, eh, we're still halfway there. And then towards 2023, we can actually get the real wedding. But you know what? Keep all these hot things coming, guys. We love to see it because we love both of you. A lady got a Shakes tattoo on her shoulder. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. This lady is very, very beautiful. Okay? She's the kind of lady that any man would want to be with. But then the tattoo kind of disfigured her beauty. 
I said it because when you look at the tattoo, the tattoo is so ugly. I mean, there's a reason why you would want to get a celebrity's tattoo on your body. It's either it's going to be for uh, fan love or you want fame. But if you're going to do it, do it right. Okay? So she got this tattoo and the tattoo was looking really ugly. Lady, if you're watching this right now, I hope you can take that tattoo back. Okay? And do it the right way. Let them do like a very nice cover up for you. So that that way, maybe Asha K will, maybe you can, whatever it is that you're trying to get out of this tattoo, maybe you'll be able to get, but you have to do that. I just pity you, whoever you're going to marry or your boyfriend because they will keep seeing like a guest face on your body. And I don't know how sexy that is. Good luck to you. National Awards. National Award was the in thing that was happening over, over the past week. President Muhammad Buhari and lots of prominent people were there and he was giving out awards. Only of Ife was there. But the one that really caught our eyes was Tenny. Tenny really got into hot water with a lot of people because the moment she got the award, she had received the award, and then you can see President Muhammad Buhari um, stretching his hand towards her. Tenny. Handshake, but Tenny kind of curved and left. And a lot of people were saying that, oh, Tenny was disrespectful. She should have knelt down. Um, some say, oh, she should have shaken his hand. Some say, oh, she she curved uh, president and by and some actually said she didn't. When I watched that video, I actually felt maybe she just didn't she just didn't want to shake his hand because a lot of things are happening in the country right now and the president is not doing anything to actually curb all those things based on what we see so Tenny, i'm with you girl whatever reason why you didn't shake his hand hey we got we just gotta we just gotta let it slide because after that Tenny actually posted a, another good news for herself but you know what all these people are being online Tenny got the award already now we will collect the award from her I know, I know see that person, okay? And that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to join me next week as we go through another round of Hot Topics. Until then, I'm your girl, Elizabeth, aka Liz Money. Have a great week and stay safe. Bye-bye.